Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a get ready with me outfit, makeup, the whole nine yards, hair, everything. It's kind of all over the place, but I like videos like that because they're just like real and honest of the getting ready process. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know. And if you want to see uh, get ready with me for a date night tonight to go to an Italian restaurant, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're starting in the same place as usual. I feel like we're always in my bathroom, but truly, you know, if you live in a small apartment, there's only so many spaces you can go. So to prepare for a date night, I'm going to start with skincare. I went to the gym this morning. I went to a little nine round workout class and now I'm going to do my skincare so we can start our makeup. And I feel like, is it me or if I have five hours to get ready for something, I will take the full five hours. I will take the whole amount of time. It is currently 12.30, well, 12.20. And I'm worried because Tyler will be home from work in like three hours and I'm like, oh, I kind of want to be ready before he gets home so I can talk to you guys and like get ready girl time, you know. And so I just feel like I'm going to take the full three hours. So anyway, um, after the shower, I will always put on this Dr. Dennis Gross 15% vitamin C and bright serum this is the vitamin c and lactic i really like this stuff it kind of smells like a barbecue but after you use it for a while i've had it for probably like three months you kind of you kind of just get used to it so i'm gonna put this on and then i'm gonna keep it simple and honestly i'm just gonna put on some lotion i'm going to be using the cerave daily moisture I put this on in the morning and at night, so at least twice a day, and then if my skin's really dry, I will put it on more. But I really like this. I think that it makes my skin feel pretty nice. And you know what? I just decided I kind of want to go one step further, and I usually only put this on at night, but my vibe for tonight, we're going to an Italian restaurant, I kind of want to wear all black. And I really want to look tan, so I'll put on just this Loving Tan Deluxe Gradual Tan. I got this for free when I ordered from their website. Sometimes they have promotions like that where if you just order something, you get stuff free. So I'm going to put this on so that I look a bit more tan. We really have quite the amount of product on our face right now. And now that this is done, we are going to go move out to my work from home desk slash little beauty get ready area and we will move into the makeup before we pick out an outfit. I kind of know the vibe I want to go for and I have an idea. It's just one of those instances where I have to try it on to see if it actually looks good. So we will move over onto my desk. Wait, I forgot one thing. I'm going to put in this BB Preta powder. So I'm going to put this on my part. I can't believe I almost forgot this step. I like doing this at night and as early as possible before I do my hair because I feel like it just has that much more time to absorb. And I really like that this doesn't have an aerosol because now I'm not putting, you know, propane and butane onto my scalp that touches my brain. Not to be dramatic. So, okay. I'm not even going to rub it in yet. I'm just going to let it literally sit. And then after we're done our makeup, I will massage it in. Now really on to makeup. We are out here, kids. I always like to put in these little clips. I've noticed that they really don't leave any creases in your hair, but I want to show you the little setup. This is what it truly looks like getting ready in a small apartment. So this is the setup we're working with. This is the desk where half of it's makeup, half of it's work supplies. This is our monitor, our keyboard and mouse. Try not to think about work. This is the mirror I use. I use the Impressions Vanity. And then this is like my little makeup bag. I have my Starbucks uh, coffee right there and then my phone on the little tripod. So this is primarily where I get ready pretty much every single day. I just like how it's a little bit brighter out here than it is in the bathroom. Do you guys wanna know a secret? Look at my eyebrow. I'm literally missing half of it and that was my own doing. I keep doing this. I've done it ever since I was little, but recently I've gotten a lot better at not doing it. And then I've just been on a kick for the past few months, just 
pulling out the hairs is so frustrating. But I try to self tan my eyebrows. I feel like it's a cheaper and easier way than getting them tinted. And I just need to do that again because they're looking a little crazy. I feel like this get ready with me is already crazy and all over the place. But what better way to derail it more than showing you what's in my makeup bag? I thought that would be a fun idea and I can just go through it really quick to see um, this is just what I throw if we're going away for the weekend, going somewhere, whatever. I just throw this whole thing. So it kind of starts collecting a lot of stuff and then probably once a month I have to go through it and take stuff out again. But right now I will show you guys what is in my makeup bag. First we have two pairs of tweezers. This pair is for plucking at eyebrow hairs. This pair is for helping separate my eyelashes when I put on mascara. I have an extra little hair clip because I always lose one of them for some reason. So I have an extra one and it's pink. That way I know I lost a black one. This is my little highlighter brush for my cheekbones and underneath my eyebrow. This is my cute little Tarte X Whitney Simmons little eyeshadow blush highlight palette. Look how stinking cute. I'm so proud of that girly. I love this. This is pretty much the only eyeshadow palette I've been using. It smells like vanilla. This is my product or this is a product that I've had for probably four years. Yes, it's probably expired, but I have been so, so, so obsessed with it lately. It doesn't even look like I've used that much of it, but I love this product. It's the Chanel Tan de Soleil. This is my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. After everything we put on my face, we're gonna be extra hydrated. This is my little beauty blender. That's not an actual beauty blender. I just don't remember where it's from. I already wet it before I came out here. This is my little vibrator for my teeth because um, I have to do this once a day for my Invisalign. This is my little blush brush, my little brush that I use for bronzer for the Tan de Ch Chanel. This is the mascara I've been using, the Falsies Lash Lift. Don't love it, but don't hate it, it's fine. This is the Ordinary Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. I'm just not consistent enough with it to see if it works. This is my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I only have like two uses left in it. So almost done with that. This is my little hair trimmer for my mustache and my eyebrows. This is my cute little Dior eyelash curler. Don't love it. There's better ones at the dollar store. This is a little eyebrow pencil. This is the brow wand in chocolate by Scone, I think. I don't know. I've had that forever. This is the Kosas um, concealer. Also don't love this. It broke and I've never ever ever dropped it before, but it does the job. This is the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. I put this one on blemishes and I put the Kosas one under my eyes. This is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. It's really cute, pretty affordable. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I use this if I'm not using the Kosas under my eyes. I prefer the e.l.f. I'm just like literally almost out of it. This is the Refi. I believe it's just like the sculpting um eyebrow stuff i really like this i just have to figure out a way so that it's not always white and flaky this is my billion dollar brows brush um i use this to self tan my eyebrows this is my milk makeup little blush it's a cream blush i use this with that chanel um bronzer this is a little morphe eyebrow pencil i love this but when i have eyebrows i can't really use it when i'm missing a huge chunk because it's too light so when my eyebrows are fully on my face, I really enjoy using it. This is just a little wet and wild white eyeliner. I like putting this on my waterline. Little hair scissors because my eyebrows grow so long. This is my Dior little blush in 001 pink. So cute. Love this color. This is another little brush that I use for bronzer when I have powder bronzer. I don't think I have one in here right now. This is Estate, just a little highlighter. This in the color Do Me. I got this from like an Ipsy box a long time ago. This is just the little Whitney Simmons lipstick from Tarte. Such a cute color, I love nudes. So I keep that in there. This is my favorite brow gel mascara for my eyebrows. This is the Essence Make Me Brow with Filling Fibers in the color 03 Softy Brown. And I love this stuff. It's $3 at Ulta. Go get you some because I freaking love it. And then I got this Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't love it. I've just been using it on my bottom lashes to kind of use it and not have it go to waste. So that is everything in my makeup bag other than some little nail cuticle pushers, cotton swabs that I use for my mascara getting all over the place, and then some random nail files. <laughs> 
and little safety pins and clear elastic. So that is so fun. That's everything that was in there. So let's get on to the freaking makeup. Okay, first I'm going to use my Bare Minerals. I'm gonna put up my Beauty Blender. I don't use this every day. I just use it for, I don't know, special occasions. Sometimes it just feels like I'm wearing a lot, so I don't love to use it every time. But I feel like it's the perfect, perfect color for my skin tone. There's some things that I wanna talk about during this little get ready with me. I've been making YouTube videos here and there for about four years now, very inconsistently. I've had a lot of life changes. I've moved a crap ton. I think I've moved four times in that amount of time. Maybe I've been posting for longer, but it hasn't been until this current year that I've been more consistent because I had a lot of testing I needed to do for work and I'm not somebody that can give multiple things 100%. Like I have to stop everything to focus on one thing. So I've been doing it inconsistently, but I have been really into it lately and it's been so fun. And I feel like now everybody's on social media, obviously. But I got my first hate comment and I didn't take it personal. That person is definitely probably going through something, but I just couldn't believe my eyes that I don't post too often. I don't post anything like controversial. I'm doing my Kosas concealer. I'm pretty chill, laid back, like my own person. I don't try to be anybody I'm not, you know? And this person commented on my YouTube video saying that I'm trying to be, I don't remember exactly what she was saying, but she called me cringe. Like almost like comparing me to Alex Earl calling me cringe. And I'm like, girly, I don't even have 400 subscribers and you're calling me cringe. Like who would hate on somebody like that? I just couldn't believe my eyes. I screenshotted it and sent it to Tyler because I thought it was so incredibly funny. Now for the Chanel bronzer. But I feel like one thing that nobody really talks about is how hard it is to figure out your life when you're out of school. I've been out of school for almost exactly five years now. Nobody talks about how you go from having winter break, summer break, all of this time off and not like a ton of responsibility to all of the responsibility at once while like finding yourself and what the heck you like doing. The more that I talk to people about it, they feel the exact same way. And I'm always like, sis, why am I the first person bringing this up? Like nobody else talks about it. And it is so dang hard. So that's why, that's the real reason why I wanted to start YouTube because I watched the videos for so long and I feel like I connected with the people that I was watching, especially with moving so much. Like you can keep the same friends and the same viewers no matter where you live. But when you're moving, you lose those physical people in person unless you go fly and visit them, but that's so hard to do. So I feel like there's just a community and it's really fun and exciting because you all have the same interests. And if you don't like a video, you don't have to watch it. You can literally just continue on your way, move on and you know, go find somebody that you do like watching. When people leave hate comments, I'm just so confused because nobody is forcing you to watch that video. And the fact that you have so much free time in your day that you had these rude thoughts and continued to go on and say them to somebody who doesn't value your opinion. I just feel like hate comments are absolutely wild. So I feel like that is good for the bronzer. I may touch it up right before we leave. Now I'm going to use the Milk Blush. I do like five or so swipes on each side and then I just blend it in with this little brush. Cute, cute, cute. So that's a lot of cream products. I used to set my under eyes, but I don't really notice that they crease too bad. So I don't really do that anymore. I'm going to use the little highlight. I have a big nose, a wide nose. So I'm going to put it down the center to make it look smaller. And then in my inner corner. I may just go like this and then put on eyeshadow the closer it gets. But for right now, I'm kind of enjoying not having anything on my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with this white eyeliner and then I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is gonna be really hard because I have to get really close and personal. I clearly have a lot of work to do on this side. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, so on camera, you can't really tell how crazy they look. I feel like I do them messily first just to get them filled. And then I really focus on brushing and blending them in and kind of moving the product around. And then I clean it up. Like I don't try to fill them in perfectly, if that makes sense, because then I feel like I'm here forever and we don't have all day. So now I'm gonna move on to mascara and then go back after and set them because I feel like if I'm trying to curl them 
while I'm trying to set them. They just kind of get messed up. So I feel like I use this eyelash curler for like a full three minutes. I just don't think that it works that well. I feel like whatever this rubber part is that your eyelashes sit on, like the white rubber part, it needs to be like stiffer. You guys, I'm so excited to go on date night. We haven't been on a date in a few weeks. Tyler works in sports and this is his busiest season every single year. So sometimes it's really hard to find time to hang out with each other. We're going to a restaurant that a coworker recommended to us. My voice just cracked because I'm going through puberty, I guess. And it's just an Italian place that has like pasta and pizza, but it looks like a traditional place, but like modern. Like traditional, the food's gonna be really good and authentic, but it looks like up to date also. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. We haven't found a good Italian place since moving out here. We honestly, I don't even think have been to more than five Italian places in the last two years. Look at the difference that makes when you curl your eyelashes. Isn't that nuts? I would say our favorite types of food is Mexican, but we've gone to so, so, so many places. I just wanted to kind of switch it up and do something different. Especially because Italian, I feel like it's just like a comfort food. Look how cute. So cute. And then if they were clumped together, this is when I would use these tweezers and kind of just separate them. But they're looking pretty decent. So now I'm going to curl the other side and then I will be right back. Look how these are looking. Now we're going to just use this little mascara on our bottom lashes. And I just wiggle from the root going down. Sorry, this probably got so boring. I just feel like I have. I just messed up. I have so much to say, but it's so hard, like I was saying, to focus on two things. And then just with the flat side of this mascara, I'm just gonna go and like touch the tops of my top lashes. That is it for mascara. I got it absolutely everywhere. And now we are going to set the eyebrows with this. I like to put a lot of this on because I like how it also lightens my eyebrow. Because sometimes I feel like my eyebrows can look really dark. I am just really on one today. I keep messing up everything. Does that look fine? I don't know. I try to remember eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Or cousins, not sisters, whatever. So this is the finished look. I think I'm gonna go move on to hair, but honestly I'm gonna leave my hair straight because I've been trying to use less heat on it because I just have these pieces, these short little thin pieces that just keep breaking. It makes me really sad. So I've been trying to work on those to grow before we go to Bali in September. And I'm sure it will take that long for them to grow because I don't think I've ever had hair there. So let's move on our way to our hair and outfit. <laughs> Okay, I think I figured out the outfit. I think it's gonna be cute this time. Last time with the white outfit from a few weeks ago, that was a mess. That was definitely a mess. Did not go as planned. First, I'm gonna rub in this dry shampoo though to absorb all of the oil. Then I'm just gonna brush my hair. Pretty sure I'm just gonna leave it like this. If anything, I might tie back like just these front pieces, but I think that this is how simple we're gonna go. I think, what's the temperature? 66 out, this this could be good. I think I want to wear these black leather shorts from Amazon. I have not worn them yet, they have little ties. I got them in a medium, which usually I'm a small, but I sized up because I wanted them to be kind of baggy and wild, but I might leave the shirt on because it kind of looks like a bodysuit and it's really comfortable and you don't have to wear a bra so this is what i'm thinking i kind of wish i had black tights but i just don't i don't have tights anymore at all and then with this oversized blazer i think this is men's i don't know how to tell and this isn't a large i feel like that would be so cute like girly but also like masculine i don't know and then with these shoes from French Connection, I love these. They have the perfect, perfect height of a heel. And then I love how they are clear and then black. And then I was gonna do a black clutch. I'm thinking that's the one thing where I want a pop of color, but I'm thinking that's the one thing where I want a pop of color. So I might just use Miss Gucci instead. And then for jewelry, I'm just gonna do my normal bracelets from CNC Luxury and then Kate Spade. And then this watch is my favorite. Look how cute this watch is. It's from Javril. I think that's how you say it. It's just this rose gold cute little watch with some diamonds. Like, isn't that so cute? I love it so stinking much. So I think I'm gonna do that for accessories. And then if it's not too much, I will throw on a pair of earrings. But we're gonna try this on first and then go from there. Okay, shorts are on. I kind of wish I was tan right now. 
I have very pale legs, so my face is tan, which is honestly the most important part, but I hate when my legs look pasty. Okay. Is this? I feel like this is too much for an Italian place. Dang it. And then my purse. I think that's kind of weird for an Italian place. Let me put you down. I feel like that's kind of weird. I still don't mind the blazer. Maybe I need to change the top to be like a sweater or maybe don't do leather. We're gonna have to go back to the drawing board for this one. Hmm. Is this too much for a family friendly Italian place? Like this long skims dress. Let me put the camera down more. Oh, I cannot decide to save my life. This is what happens, you plan out cute outfits and then it comes time to put them on and then you're back to square one and you thought you were ahead, you thought you were prepared and then you were wrong. I think we found a winner, oh my gosh. So I've never worn these pants before, they're from DKNY. I've had them for years and years and years and they have these stripes on the side. I bought them to go to Italy in 2020 when the pandemic started and then obviously our trip was canceled and I have never worn them and they still fit, they still fit. I think this is the winning vibe. I am shocked. Let's go to the full length mirror. Make sure, but I, I think that this is looking like the vibe. We have my little purse. Probably should have grabbed some shoes. I'll probably do either those black heels or just nude ones. This crop top and this blazer. I think this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I think that this is going to be the look. Who knew? Who would have thought? But it has indeed taken me all day to get ready. It's just after 3 o'clock now and Tyler's going to be home soon. So I'm going to finish going to get ready and be ready for when he gets home. But I hope you guys like this video. I know it's all over the place, but I really love Get Ready With Me's. I think that they're so intimate and so like fun. But if you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know. And then comment any ideas that you have at all down below so that I know what you wanna see. And then subscribe to see more videos from me. So until next time, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Tired of the waiting